Okay, recording has started. And let me turn my screen around. Okay, um, hopefully it doesn't freeze on me tonight, but um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys all remember here, remember there's all kinds of templates. There's some good ones for resumes, calendars. Um, you can do, you know, certificates, excuse me, all of that, um, you know, party invitations. There's a lot of business things too, business flyers. Um, some of your most recent documents are here on the left-hand side. So, um, you know, op just opening up Word alone is, is there's a lot there, okay? Um, and then you can go right from here. You can open up other documents too. So, um, you know, all of your other documents that you stored in your file folders or anything like that. Okay. Um, remember, you, you have your account and your account options we talked about in the beginning, in the very beginning here. So remember, if you need to change your language, if you needed to add a word into the dictionary, if you wanted to customize your ribbon, you could customize your ribbon right here. <clears throat> okay. So, and what I mean by customize your ribbon is up top there with all of your like fonts and everything. Like if you never were going to use the Microsoft, the, um, the mail merge, take it out. You don't even have to have it on there. Or if you're never going to use the references, take it out. All that stuff. Anything that you know that you're never going to use, it's all right here. You can just remove them, uncheck them. Okay. Um. And like I said, your languages are here if you need to add another language. And if you need to customize a dictionary or add a word in there, or however you need to get your dictionary to where you want to be is right here. Okay. okay so I'm going to open up a new... Um, let me go in my folder. Um, let's see. Um, I'll use this one. Okay, so um, right here we talked about the home key. Copy paste. Well, um, anything that you need to do here, it's very simple. Um, I think we just talked about it briefly. I just assume that everybody knows how to like highlight. Cut is if you want it to go away and then move it somewhere else. So I'm gonna move that down the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna paste that. So I cut it and I moved it. So, and I pasted it where I wanted it. Um, and then, so if I wanted to highlight this, and I wanted to copy it. I don't want to cut it. So I'm sorry. Hit that by mistake. I wanted to copy it. I can move it down there and I can copy that. Okay. So I added that down there. There's another one right there. Okay. So copy and paste. I think that's very simple. Um, and then moving over a little bit is your, um, your fonts. Um, your um, text effects, so any outlines or anything like that, your strike throughs, your bold, italicize, um, your letter font, your like what you want for letters to be co different colors. So if this right here, you have that, okay? Um, let's see. Then we have your centering right here. So you can go to center, you can write center, okay? Um, or you could go back to normal. So it, again, it's centering, you can go all the way over or you can go back to normal. Okay, um, right here, 
um, I don't know if I did go over this. So right here is your spacing. I think I did. So usually it's either at one or two. Not a heck of a lot do we use those in-betweens or before. Okay. So if you wanted to double space, a lot of things are double space, which is two. That's what you need to do. Okay. If you have some spaces there and you want to remove them, like before the paragraph, you can remove them. You can also add some spacing. Okay. So if you want to add another, like another two spaces, you could add that. So that's what that is underneath there. Okay. So if I wanted to remove some of these spaces, let me see if this will remove. It took away some of the spaces. Okay. Above that are your bullets. So, oh God, it's freezing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it just took me out of everything. Okay. Everything. Give me a second here. Sorry. That was weird. Very weird. Let me see if I can get back into there. No. Okay. Okay, it should be okay now. If you can't see, let me know. Okay, so I was starting on, on bullets. Just put that there. Um, the bullets right here. You can see them. If you arrow down with the bullets. Okay, I don't know why, but it does not like bullets tonight. It's going back up again. What the phenopolis? I don't know. Okay. Let me try this. So um, one over is the numbers. I don't know. It's not liking my arrow there. Okay. Um, and then you get a timeline and it keeps freezing. So I'm just. I'm, it's just showing like. Yeah, I know. I'm, All right. Yeah, I know. I'm having some issues. So I'm not going to go over that. But the right up top there, if you can see, it's not liking me. Um, hold on, let me get back there. Yeah, it keeps going out. So I don't know why it doesn't like that, but it's not liking it. So, but your bullets are up top there. So you can see those right up here. Okay. Um, the indenting, you can do that. Let's see how it's moving right there. Let me go down one more. That doesn't seem to be a problem. So you can indent. You could go this way. Um, so if I wanted to go back that way, so whatever you, however you want to indent those, those are your indent buttons right next to the A and Z. So the A and Z is sorting right next to there. I tend not to use that a lot in Word. We use it a lot more in Excel. Um, so, but you can sort there if you needed to sort by something, you can sort. Okay. Um, you have the backwards P, the show and hide button. I usually turn that on so you can see where your um, spaces and everything is. Okay. Um, remember your paint bucket, that changes the background of the... Um, page, it is not your fonts, it is the background. And then one more over is your borders. Okay. And remember, we talked a lot about the shading, the second one in, you can actually put a border around. Okay. So we talked about that a lot that should have been done in like one of your projects. Okay. And then <clears throat> heading over a little bit more is just some of your, um, you always want to be on normal, um, some different headings, but I don't really get into a lot of those. Those are more advanced features you do in styles or anything like that. 
Okay. I'm not sure if I went over this or not, but the find and replace. So if I wanted to find all the um, words and um, say if I wanted to find all of um, the, um, I'm going to put weeks. Okay. So if I wanted to find the word weeks in here, see how it, if I type it up right there, it comes up. Okay. So it comes up on the left hand side. So again, it's find. So if I wanted to find all the words with weeks, there they are. And it comes up and you just keep hitting enter and it comes up and shows you. Okay. So if I wanted to find all those words and replace a word. So if I wanted to replace a word with weeks and do months, it says right there. So I put that replace with months and replace all. So I'm replacing three words and I'm going to hit yes. Okay. So you don't have to go through the whole document. You can just go to find and replace. We want to find, oh, I'm just typing edit and then I'm going to do all the edits replace all. So there's two words that have the word edit and I'm going to replace it with months. Yes. So we made those corrections. Okay. I'm going to stop for a minute. I just want to make sure there's no questions on the beginning part of this. And then plus I want to stop the recording.